Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I am here in my garden for this video and what I want to do in this video is I want to show you how to photograph a really nice crescent moon. We've actually got a lovely crescent moon here in the sky and I can see I don't need to travel in this video because I can see it from my own garden. A lovely crescent moon it's about 11% lit something like that. Now I photographed the crescent moon the night before when it was only about 5% lit I had to go into Blackpool the town of Blackpool and I wanted to try and get it with the tower and I managed to get it from just outside town actually and I'm just putting the picture on the screen now check this out here I managed to get the 5% lit crescent moon there with uh, just behind the tower there and I used my photographer's ephemeris app to get the angle so that I knew where to go to get that picture it was just behind the winter gardens where I took that photograph and that app really helped me to get it now it looks really really nice the crescent moon now what I want to do is I want to show you how to focus on the moon how to get the correct exposure as well for the moon there's also one other thing I'd like to show you as well, and that's how to capture Earthshine. Now, Earthshine is really amazing. I think I've showed it before on some previous videos. Now, I did say that the moon is about 11% lit at the moment. It's not long from new, which is when it passes in front of the sun and we can't see it. So it's heading towards a full moon. It'll get brighter and brighter and brighter as we head along. But at the moment, it's possible at a certain time, it's a little bit early yet, that you can see the whole of the disc of the moon you can see the unlit part you can just about see the shadow on the unlit part and, and the way that works is that it's not in complete shadow the moon and the reason for that is because when the sunlight hits the earth us here on the earth the earth gives off quite a glow and because the moon's not that far away it's about 250 thousand miles away on average something like that it's not really that far that light from the earth goes onto the dark side of the moon and lights it up and it gives us a really nice you know we get to see the whole disc of the moon and that's called earth shine it's absolutely amazing and i'll show you how to get a really nice photograph of earth shine okay now check this out here just look at that lovely moon there up there in the twilight sky and i'm actually starting to see the earth shine on it now we can actually see the whole of the disc of the moon I'm going to get my other camera set up with my long lens on it and we'll try to get in there and see if we can get a photograph of that amazing crescent moon and the earth shine as well. So let's do that now then. Right, I hope you can see this. I've now got the moon on the screen of my camera. Can you see here? I've put my 300mm lens on. This is a 300mm lens I've got here, a 300mm f4 lens. And this is how big the moon looks in the screen. It's not that big, actually. In fact, it's out of focus at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. Can you see? I'm zooming into the moon on the screen. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the focus button. I use this button here to, fo to auto focus. OK, so I've now got that red box there. So if I now hold this button down here, my camera should focus on the moon. Can you see that? It's, it's actually got the focus quite good on the moon i'm looking into the can you see that there i can see the de detail in the craters and the box is lit up green which means it's focused on the moon now the moon is quite bright so it is fairly easy for cameras modern cameras to focus on the moon if you do have a problem it might be worth going into manual focus and adjusting the focus ring manually just so that you get that nice sharp image in the screen but anyway um now we're on to settings can you see there it's very small isn't it in the screen in, and that's using a 300 millimeter lens now what i want to do is i want to get a picture of the moon but i'm going to have to i want to step the aperture up a bit because at f4 wide open it might not be quite as sharp i think it'd be a little bit sharper f5.6 okay so i've determined that at one two hundredths of a second shutter speed which is pretty fast at f5.6 an ISO 200 will get a good picture of the crescent part of the moon and it'll bring out all those craters. So let's take this picture now and see how it comes out. We probably won't see the air shine on this because we're exposing for the lit part of the moon. So let's see how this comes out. Now then, can you see this now? We'll just zoom in. 
can you see that there i'll put this on the screen for you now so you can see properly but now we've got a really nice picture of the moon there and we can see all that amazing crater de detail it doesn't it look absolutely amazing there's some craters at the bottom there i'm sure there's names for them can you see that row of craters down there? there's about three or four craters down there in fact there's one with a crater inside a crater can you see that that looks absolutely amazing and that was how to get a picture of the crescent moon and exposed for the actual lit part of the moon itself now for the next shot we're going to get that earth shine so let's see if we can get that amazing earth shine okay so we just got an amazing shot of the moon there using those settings there that i've got there exposing for the lit part of the moon so it's now time to go for that earth shine so what i'm going to do the first thing i'm going to do is to dial down the exposure can you see we're going to go down to 100 if I go down to something like 1 30th of a second, I'll, I'll try that and see how this comes out, shall we? Let's see how this comes out. It might need a bit more, we'll see. No, no, it needs more. We need to give it more exposure. What I'll do is I'll drop the aperture down to F4, so we'll go wide open. I'll probably dial the ISO. I don't want to go too slow as shutter speed because you get a little bit of blur. So we're going to take it down. We'll try that one tenth of a second. Let's see how this comes out. We we'll get there. It's not quite there yet. So I think we need to uh, up the ISO a bit. I don't want to go too slow with the shutter speed, but I think we might need to go down to something like maybe. I think we'll go up to ISO 800, quarter of a second, and I think that this might get us a really nice picture of that earth shine let's see shall we oh you beauty look at this now i'm going to put that picture on the screen now look at this now we've already got a picture of the crescent and exposing for that crescent and it was a really nice picture wasn't it we could see all the craters but notice on this one the crescent is blown right out but just look at that other part of the moon the disc there the unlit part of the moon that is well it's not lit directly by the sunlight but just look at that you can see all that detail in there the seas the face is kind of on its side there and that's because all of that sunlight that's hitting the earth and bouncing back and hitting the moon indirectly and that's how we're able to see that amazing air shine. isn't it absolutely amazing so there you go that's how to photograph the crescent moon and to also capture that amazing air shine so there you go that was my little video telling you how to capture a nice picture of the crescent moon and also that amazing air shine i hope i've explained it to you it was a bit of a dash to get this done i was i've just come back from somewhere and uh, i had to get out and, and do this video for you to show you how to capture the moon it was been such a nice evening as well we've had a really nice sunset and i thought i've got to do this picture i did the one the night before with the tower that was a lovely picture and i thought tonight i'll do the video showing you how to capture the crescent moon in the twilight sky and to also how to capture that amazing air shine as well so i hope you like the video if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i will see you again on the next one